So right here we have a 1678 unit that is making a scraping noise coming from inside. So we're going to have to remove some parts off to be able to go ahead and fix it. First thing we're gonna remove is the left and right pedal. So left and right pedal, remove the bolts from underneath. It's gonna be a total of four bolts. Take the right one off, then we take the left one off. The next thing we have to remove is the wheel covers, the left and right one. So you're gonna move two bolts too. Take them off completely. So once you take off the left and right wheel covers, then the next thing you gotta remove is the shrouds. There's a total of nine screws that you gotta remove. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing for the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine when you remove the, the shrouds don't forget to remove the vent in front of the shrouds so remove the vent take the shrouds off so when you take the covers off you got to come check that the magnets are not hitting the flywheel if they are you're gonna have to remove the E-clip. You can use a flathead. Just to take it off. Just like that. Once you take the E-clip off, you're gonna grab the same flathead you were using and shove it in between the frame and the flywheel and push the flywheel over, just like that. Just so you have enough space where you can get some pliers in to bend this bracket over so it doesn't touch the plate make sure you leave at least a two millimeter gap if you go anything beyond that then you might lose resistance if it's too far away from the plate so once he moves it he'll move the flywheel fan back in place make sure you go up and down on the tension to make sure that the flywheel is not scraping anymore. So right there you can see, there's a gap and it's not hitting anymore. Once you bend the bracket in place and it's not scraping anymore, then you have to come back and put the E-clip back on. Make sure it's on the groove. So when you tap it in, it locks in place, just like that. So once you put the E-clip back on, you can go ahead and put the covers. Make sure you put the nine screws on each side. Make sure you put the vent back in place. So we put the vent back in. Then you can go ahead and put the pedals back on, put the wheel covers back on, and you can go ahead and start using your machine again.